Hello and welcome to another double sleeve review where today we're looking at the Ultra Pro Pro Gloss Sleeve. Is it as good as the Eclipse? We'll find out. A quick disclaimer, the product in this video has been given to us by Ultra Pro. A big thank you to them, it really helps us out. However, they don't get to see this review early or do they get to have any input into it. So just thought we'd let you guys know and on to the review. When reviewing sleeves, we like to break them down into five categories. Toughness, shuffleability, foil clarity and opacity, double sleeving and price. So we start off with toughness and for this we have the one finger stretch test and the card capacity test. When we do the stretch test, we like to put a lot of pressure onto the seams to see if they're going to split. And fortunately for Ultra Pro, these did split pretty easily. You can see here a couple of times, uh, it happened many, many times, it just split straight away. We then go on to the card capacity test where we fit a load of cards into the sleeve. Not the most useful of tests, but it does get to see uh, how the seams feel under stress, under pressure, if you're constantly sleeving, unsleeving, double sleeving, etc. Um, and again, these sleeves do not have a lot of give in them. They don't have a lot of stretch. So they did put a few cards in. However, it was getting tough towards the end. An okay showing in that regard. However, generally for toughness, they're not great. Now we move on to shuffleability, where I do a thousand rough shuffles. And I don't mean just the technique is rough, I mean I'm going hard at this to try and break these sleeves, smashing the seams into each other to try and simulate a very tough life for the poor sleeves. And after a thousand rough shuffles, I'll tell you these sleeves are tough to shuffle with. They are sharp, they are harsh, they don't feel particularly good in the hand. However, they did survive very well. And I would say as far as shuffling goes, these are a pretty good bet. If you want your cards to be in some sleeves for an extended period of time, um, you want to make sure that you don't have to keep unsleeving and resleeving all the time, then these are a pretty good bet. I can't imagine that these are gonna be breaking any time nor showing a huge amount of visible damage. Very good. Now onto foil clarity and opacity, where we put a foiled card halfway into a sleeve, all the way into a sleeve, out of the sleeve, so you can see exactly what the foil looks like with the front of this sleeve. And for the Ultra Pro Gloss, these are actually pretty good. Um, we have had problems in the past with Eclipse uh, sleeves, not showing the foils very well, but these were actually fine. When it comes to opacity, we then turn the card around and put it in the sleeve and see whether or not we can see anything through the back. This is only really relevant if you have uh, important local games that you play or if you go to tournaments, obviously. Uh, unfortunately, the red is not the lightest color, but it's certainly not the darkest color, and these show the card through. Uh, very clearly, to be fair. Uh, so you would have to get some sort of smoke-backed inner sleeve in order to try and make these less uh, of an issue. However, I would suggest if you are playing somewhere where it matters whether you can see through the back of the sleeve, these might not be the right sleeves for you. And now onto double sleeving, where we get an inner sleeved card and we pop it in the outer sleeve. We want this to be a nice snug fit. We don't want the sleeve to be moving around. We don't want there to be too much room, but we also want there to be enough room. Uh, with these, it was quite a tight fit. I have sleeved a lot of cards, inner sleeved and outer sleeved, and you get to know pretty quickly whether or not these sleeves are gonna be too tight or too loose or just right. And unfortunately, these were too tight. You can see here over and over and over again, I'm putting an inner sleeved card inside the outer sleeve and the inner sleeve is riding up. I put the same pressure I put whenever I do this test and I end up having to grab the inner sleeve, hold it on and put it in with my fingers, which is not ideal. You're potentially gonna break the card, you're gonna put some damage, put some stress on the sleeve and it takes a lot more time and energy and it just isn't right. So I would, su I would suggest to you, you're going to need to get some very tight inner sleeves if you want to double sleeve with these or be very patient and it's going to take a little bit longer. Not the greatest when it comes to double sleeving, but yeah, you could do it. And lastly, we look at price. We always make sure you do your own research on price. However, from what we can see, we're looking at around £7 for a pack of 100 now that is in the UK market and that's what's available online right now. Um, it still scores a decent eight out of 10, which isn't bad. However, it is on the pricier side for a basic sleeve. 
So you're going to have to weigh that up when you're looking at the value of these sleeves. So in conclusion then, should you get these or do you just upgrade to the Eclipse or maybe try a different brand? Well, these glosses were okay. If you're somebody who really likes foils, these are going to be way better than the Eclipse from our experience. However, if you're someone who likes to have an all-round sleeve that's a little bit better, then the Eclipses are decent. I would say though, Ultra Pro have got a lot of competition. Dragon Shield produced some fantastic sleeves and Gamegenic have been churning out some great ones too. Look at all those reviews in our sleeve reviewing playlist and let us know. Do you have these sleeves? Do you love these sleeves or have you had the similar problems that we had? If there's other products you want us to review, let us know in the comments below. Uh, a big thank you again to Ultra Pro for giving the, us these sleeves. It really helps us out and um, we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.